Hello everyone and welcome to Ocean Cadence. In our video today, we will be covering the topic of sludge system and the build system through the line diagrams and the different elements that are present on board. So let us start. Once we shift our focus onto the sludge system, we know that there are different elements through which the sludge is generated on board. For example, the fuel that is used in the main engine and the auxiliary engine and the boiler has to be purified through the separator and this is where core chunk of our sludge generation comes from. Also, the scavenge and under piston spaces as well as the other areas within the main engine and the leaks and the swept oil from the lube oil section within these elements contribute to the generation of waste oil and this is also a part of the sludge generation. Other manual draining of different elements on board contribute to the sludge generation. Now, as we know that sludge in its original form would not be pure oil but be a mixture of solid residues, predominantly water and some part of it would be fuel. Now, in addition to understanding the sludge system, we will also understand how this is handled. Now, let us first shift our focus onto the line diagram. So, as we can see here that the sludge pump would predominantly take suction from a number of tanks. Some of the tanks that namely exist in this system would be the fuel oil sludge tank, the lube oil sludge tank, the scavenge drain tank and the oily bilge tank or what we also regard as the bilge separated oil tank on board some vessels which we commonly known as the BSOT. The fuel oil sludge tank and the lube oil sludge tank are dedicated for the sludge that is being generated from the purifier that is the fuel separator and the lube oil separator and they usually contain a mixture which is higher in terms of being rich in water. That is the water content is high because of the intermittent discharge and the water being separated from the fuel. However, the lube oil sludge tank would have a little more richer mixture and you will see that once you run your incinerator on the lube oil sludge tank content purely, it would give higher temperatures. Also, the scavenge drain tanks would also get a daily certain amount of generation from the main engine. BSOT is one unique tank which mostly has the inlet from the different collection points from the different save all trays on board. So for example, if there is something that goes wrong with a pump which is related to fuel oil section and if it leaks for a certain amount of time, then the oil that is collected into the save all tray and naturally drained would be coming through the save all trays collection into the BSOT. The lines are so generated. And so is applicable for the different fuel oil elements. For example, if you are draining your settling tank, service tank and the other tanks. Once the sludge pump takes suction from these elements. Now, for example, if I have to transfer my fuel oil sludge content from the fuel oil sludge tank. So I'll be lining up the discharge wall and the suction valve of the sludge pump side. Now on the discharge side of the sludge pump would be available the different elements for handling this sludge. So the shore connection, as we know, would be helpful for landing this sludge directly to the shore. But on most FG vessels with longer routes, this is not frequently possible and the sludge needs to be handled on board. So that is where the other elements come in. That is the waste oil tank. The waste oil tank would get filled by the discharge of the sludge pump and then have separate arrangements for the evaporation of the water that is present within the sludge with the help of the heating coils that are available within the waste oil tank. And the vent and the vapor line would allow the vapor that is the water vapor that is being generated by the evaporation to go into the funnel section where there is a mist box and through the mist box to escape out in the atmosphere in the form of clean water vapor containing no oil residues. And even in case if a fine droplet or two gets carried away in the line, it would be caught by the mesh like or demister like arrangement that is present in the funnel area in the mist box section. Now, once the sludge is free of water content and ready to be incinerated, by lining up the discharge wall of the waste oil tank and the inlet to the incinerator, we align the selected tank to burn in the incinerator and then also use diesel oil for the initial ignition of the pilot burner that is used for sustaining the further ignition of the waste oil. If you are draining your waste oil tank, sometimes if the water quantity is too large and you want to recirculate it by draining and putting it again in the BSOT, so, the drain side walls with the manual or the QCV type arrangement would be helpful and that drain would again come back to the BSOT itself. As we can see, the sludge pump is the one responsible for carrying out all the transfers and while in some ships you would find a redundancy for the sludge pump, but in most of the ships the sludge pump is a single entity. So, it is very important that the spares of the sludge pump fall under the critical spare arrangement of your list available on board. 
Sludge line should always be so arranged that there is no vapor locking towards the sludge pump. For example, what happens is that most of these tanks on the suction side would have heating coils also. Now what that does is that due to the heating of the sludge content within these tanks, what happens is that vapor fumes also get generated and water also being present would generate water vapor. This vapor what would happen is that if the vent lines of these particular tanks are not clear or let's say too high, then they would find a shorter route and go towards the suction side of the sludge pump. If you have isolated the discharge side only but left the suction side open, what happens is that it pressurizes the filter section of the sludge pump and the sludge pump also. A number of incidents with junior engineers and fourth engineers have happened in the past because of this particular mistake and when they go to clean the filters, what happens is that when they open the vent side of the filter or they open the filter directly, it leads to a mini explosion sort of occurrence where fuel of high temperature and vapor of high temperature is splashed out and the engineer that is particularly working at that point of time has a very high risk and possibility of either getting hurt or burnt because of this. So be very careful that either isolate your pump properly and also simultaneously make sure that all your vent lines are clear at all points of time. Now let us shift our attention towards the bilge line. The bilge line in its simplest form would have two typical bilge wells in the forward side of the vessel and one larger bilge at the aft side of the vessel. So once taking suction from these bilge wells that is either the aft or the forward one through the dedicated valve and the dedicated filter assembly present at the mouth of the bilge well, the water from the bilges would then go into the bilge pump. The bilge pump would have a suction and discharge valve simultaneously and a small filter at its suction to make sure that no contamination goes into the discharge line. Again, this discharge line would go into different elements, one of which would be the shore connection obviously for shore discharge and also the bilge tank and the oily water separator. The bilge tank would also have its suction being connected to the suction side of the bilge pump so that we can also take water from bilge tank and then run it through the OWS and then discharge it overboard. In a lot of vessels you would see that there is a separate bilge primary tank arrangement before the main bilge holding tank and that is used sometimes if your ORB has the official declaration for the disposal of bilge water through evaporation then that can be used for evaporation of the water and if not then it can be used for allowing the finer oil granules on the top of the water to be separated with the help of manual filters or absorbent pads and then allow the clean water to be drained back into the bilge holding tank. Now once the transfer is made from these bilge wells through bilge pump into the bilge tank then once the bilge quantity is enough in the bilge tank, what we do is we line up the bilge holding tank through the suction side of the bilge pump and then put it towards the discharge side to the oily water separator and the oily water separator would again have a three-way valve arrangement. The three-way valve arrangement would allow the water under tank to tank running to be circulated back into the bilge holding tank or in other cases where we are trying to discharge the water overboard through the oily water separator would shift in a way that the water would go on board given the condition of the less than 15 ppm content is fulfilled. Also oily water separator on the top side of it would also have the discharge side of it connected to the BSOT tank because sometimes whatever the effluent content that is being separated in the form of very light oil particles that is being generated in the oily water separator separation section would go into the BSOT section and later be dealt with the sludge side. So sometimes what you will see is that if you are running your oily water separator a little bit of content in the BSOT side also increases. Also the bilge pump would have suction connection from the flywheel side as well that is the flywheel bilges under engine area on the aft side and would also have one purging connection that would be available directly from the sea chest so that if suppose uh, sometimes the bilge pump loses suction because as we know that the bilge water which is generated on board is not always clean and sometimes the filter can get choked or if there is a hole in a line that has occurred at any point of time or air ingress can lead to loss of suction. That is when we use the sea chest connection directly to the purging side and this water goes into the bilge pump and thus allows the vapors to be expelled and burst the pump and then again discharge goes into the bilge tank. It is very important while dealing with bilge lines to make sure that all your filters at all points of time are clean to make sure that the bilge pump never loses suction and this also includes the bilge well individual filters plus the filter as I told you which is available before the bilge pump itself.
and very important to make sure that the lineup that is being done is correct to make sure that the transfers are being taken from the correct bilge well and not the empty bilge well if let's say your uh, starboard bilge well is empty and the port bilge well has water so if you line it up from the starboard bilge well by mistake if incorrect valve opening is done then again that would damage your bilge pump because of dry running and also loss of suction and again it would create a lot of unnecessary uh, work for you on board I hope that the larger understanding of the sludge and the build line is now clear to everyone who has gone through this video and if you still have any doubts you can connect with us in the comment section and let us know we will be happy to answer them. Also before concluding the video I would like to let you know that in some of the ships you would see that there is an interconnection on the discharge side of the sludge and bilge pump that is to offer redundancy. But because of intermixing and because of oil ingress into the build side and then the amount of havoc that is created because of this intermixing and the unnecessary waste of time and money, most of these interconnections either are now removed or blank and that is why it is not necessary for you to find it in the vessel schematics. But there is a possibility that if you are on a little older vessel or on a certain class of vessel, you will find that connection. Please do make sure to share our videos with your colleagues and subscribe to our channel and help us grow together. Thank you.